supposed to tolerate that. You gotta go, sis. It's too many fish in the sea. So you're okay with black men leaving? Black yes, women? I I say they should, because if once a person show you how they move, you you should believe them. It's not about actions. It's not about words. It's about movements. But here's the problem: you're still not telling me what women need to do because women are gonna suffer. If all these yes, great black all... men are leaving, you're gonna suffer. So what are women willing to come together and do? Or are they just like, it is what it is. I'm about to dog and die alone. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just wanna build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I wanna keep it real with you. I wanna live better, eat better. I wanna love better, sleep better. Yeah, I wanna feel so aligned. I agree with you 100%. So, I'm not against, like, I'm not, never against how men feel about women because they, their, their opinions and their, and their, their, their feelings are valid towards black women. And so is black women's feelings towards black men, in essence. I mean, is it wrong for us to want luxury? Is it wrong yes. for us to, but why? Because most black men make $40,000 a year and most of y'all make 30. But is it wrong if, Okay, then if a woman, if that's the case or whatever, right, then is it okay for the man to say, no, she can't have that or can't have this or have that if they're together and they're married and she's like, okay, no, I'm going to go get it myself. Then is she wrong? Well, so because technically she's not being submissive. Yeah, I think, black against... men, I think black men need to do more homework. Okay. On, on the woman they choose to marry. Yes. And I think that's why most of them niggas are leaving. I think so, too. Because they're realizing that regardless of how much homework I do, a lot of these women are just broken. And they're not going to get on my program regardless. So my point is, even if the dude makes six figures, it is insane to expect the man to buy you a Birkin bag. Oh, and yeah, it's insane to anything. compare your life to Saweetie's life or oh, to yeah, Sierra's no. life or Moneybag Yo's girl's wife. Yeah, I don't understand that. But a lot of women do that. And they make $20,000 here on food stamps. I don't get it because it's very slim. There's not really that many men out here that can afford that. And if they do, they're doing illegal activity. But do you think women understand this? Or do you think it's just, I still want the lifestyle? Especially in your city. See, what had happened, I think, because I had a conversation, like I said yesterday, with some, with some very wealthy gentlemen. And what they were talking about how now in the black community is, is more now starting to be about classism. And more how, you know, and, and really when it comes to business and how as even business owners, we have to understand that it's not for all black people. Our target market isn't for the Walmart shop. I mean, the Walmart warehouse worker, if they ain't, ain't, can't put it on and, and, and actually be echelon or, you know, be elegant, you know, if that's my target market. So with women... And men, I don't know. It's we just gonna have a lot of lonely women, black women with cats, and or more so, you know, what, with dogs. We ain't we ain't gonna we ain't gonna be cat ladies. We gonna be dab dogs. We just gonna be successful. Cause I really was at that point. I was at that point myself where I was like, you know, if I get to the point where I reach who I am potentially going to be, and there's no man that I feel. I wouldn't say worthy, but sure, we're gonna use that word just for just just cause. I'm gonna have to just go to the doctor, have my own baby, have my dog, my baby, and be straight. I'm, I mean, listen, I understand that it's hard. No, no, not that it's for harder. men to find women. I understand. Mm, no, no, that's not why I was shaking. My, I was shaking my head because you, your plan B is to create another boy raised by a single mother who no, perpetuates by, the cycle. No, no, no. Raised by males in the community that I feel are the 1%. But what males? I mean, I... I so, so, my question... I, I, I have friends. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, like, it's not even... I build relationships with people, granted, but, I mean, I also know myself, you know, sometimes. Because some men not want to be able to handle me cutting them off or, you know... And, but here's the disconnect, right? You're saying that I might get to a point where I can't find a caliber of man that I'm comfortable submitting to and, you know, enter a relationship with, but he'll still be able to 
sacrifice his time for my son. What you mean? You ain't got to sacrifice no time. Is it, that's what you want to do or not? You know what I'm saying? I have family, you know? Is it come up being bring but around? What, but what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this. You're saying that it's going to be tough to find a black man to enter partnership with. Right? Yes. But it would be easy to find a black man to train your son in the right way. Well, it's not necessarily train. It's so Guide, examples, supervise, yeah. ideas, you know, have conversations. I mean, because we, so I guess it's because I based this off of like, I mean, I have friends who had children and their fathers, I mean, their babies that seen their kids every other week, every weekend. I'm, no, but my question is, if, if you can't find that type of caliber of man for yourself, how do you think you'll be able to find him for your son? Because I'm picky. As a woman, you feel me? I want my son to know all different type of men. So you'll be more picky for yourself than for your son? Well, I mean, he's a man. He has to know. He can't only know shit, Uncle Rob, and, and, how, and he's a factory worker. He only want to be a factory worker. You know what I'm talking about? You're not getting my point. My point no, is... I mean, I get what you're saying. It's, it's just... I hang around the men that are, are, could be on that caliber. But I, I can't choose my I can't choose to be with that man. Yes, you can. How? What's well, school us, honey? School is how we supposed to get these men because I'm not understanding. Because yeah, y'all, we friends and we. I'm gonna but... explain it to you like this, right? And I kind of alluded to it earlier. If you want to work for Google, you got to go on Google's website, go on their job board, and see what's available. Right? Okay. And then when you find something you like, you then have to read the job description. Right. And figure out if you have the qualifications for that job. Right. Or figure out what the qualifications are. Oh, I need to go get a master's degree. Cool. I'm going to go get a master's degree. Right. Oh, I need to go get five years of experience. I'm going to go get five years of experience because right. ultimately I want this job. If you take that same approach with the kind of man you say you want, mm -hmm. you can get him. Just I say, if I don't find that caliber of man, no, no, but the, because the that's how I'm developing is, but, myself but to the, be, is to be that is, for that man. The, the problem is this: Google exists, mm -hmm. but motherfuckers with GD think they should get a job at Google. And the metaphor is: a lot of women aren't willing to change themselves mm -hmm. to qualify or to attract that kind of caliber of men. They're never willing to change them. Oh yeah, no, there's a lot of women who are not going to do that, but this woman. I'm definitely in. So what are the changes you think you need to make? <sighs> like you said, agreeableness. And that was you, that's the word we used. Yes, definitely that. For sure. How do you do that? By allowing the man to just pick in my battles and just allowing a man to think he's right. Even when he's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> I mean, realistically, you feel me? Women, we multitask on 50 different things. And you think I'm supposed to listen to you who can't even... Walk and tie your shoe at the same time? Come on now. It, it, this is why, this is the problem, right? This is the problem. Listen, okay, because me, I'm funny. I'm a likable asshole. You feel me? Like, it's certain things that you got to accept with me. You can't be boring. Either, I, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I need a little jab here and there, you know, a little fun. Like, you know, because if not, then we just chilling. And I'm sitting here tooling my thumbs. And now you so, mad because I got Tony down the street. He made me laugh. And now you mad because Tony calling. We cracking jokes. You don't want to laugh at Tony joke? Because I'm going to show you Tony because we cool. We all cool with Tony. I'm, 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 I'm going to make two points based on what you just said. Number one, the worst thing you could do when you attract that type of man is to act like he's not. Oh, yeah. So when you say things like, you know, just because you think you're right, if he's that type of man, chances are he's right. What are we talking about here? You feel me? Nine times out of ten, he's definitely right. That's why I'm not that's why I'm not saying nothing. But again, here's the problem. Kind of like I was telling you about my friend, yeah. his experience was still that of you think you're right. Mm -hmm. So these men are saying that y'all don't know what the hell y'all have. And y'all treating us like we're McDonald's. I'm Google. Maybe it's the lack of conversation. No, no, no. It's not that. What it is is a lot of black women have been predisposed to think that black men ain't shit. They're not shit intellectually. They're not shit socially, financially, physically, whatever the case may be. That's and on that's why a lot of y'all think you're right. That's on y'all. So it, the reason it's not on us is that the men who've done the work and the men who are right and the men who do their due diligence still get treated that way. 
If you were only treating these type of men that way, I would be 100% with you. But as me and my friends, those 1% men who still get that treatment, we're like, it ain't nothing we can do. And I, I feel so bad for black men. I'm so sorry. And you Shout know the worst part about it? I'm so the sorry. Worst part, the worst part about it. Here's so the worst sorry. part about it. As a black man, it doesn't matter. Because I know a few black women that would be so happy with y'all. I know. That's why I'm so confused. That y'all and and, and, and this, this is the biggest part about it that I think a lot of women miss, right? When you step out into the world as a black woman, everything around you, from media to everything, is essentially telling you that you are ugly. You're, you're, you're at the bottom of the totem pole, whatever the case may be. But I think what women miss is, as a black man, regardless of our success level, regardless of how high on the totem pole we are, uh, based on income, whatever the case may be, education, the entire world is telling us that we're wrong. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. From work to society, and then we come home and our own damn women treat us like we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Even if we are worth submitting to, the idea is that we're still not shit. So how is a black man who's done the work and who makes more money than most white people and who's more educated than most white people, how is he supposed to tolerate coming home and still being treated like a boy? You ain't supposed to tolerate that. You got to go, sis. It's too many fish in the sea. So you're okay with black men leaving? Yes. Black women? I, I say they should. Because if once a person show you how they move, you, you should believe them. It's not about actions. It's not about words. It's about movements. But here's the problem. You're still not telling me what women need to do because women are going to suffer. If all these yes, great black so. men are leaving, you're going to suffer. So what are women willing to come mm-hmm. together and do? Or they just like, it is what it is. I'm a buy a dog and die alone. They can do what I do. Watch YouTube videos on femininity. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because in reality, nobody taught us how to be the woman. In reality, the man in our family or the father figure is supposed to show us really and prepare us for a man like you. But who's just doing that? All our, all our mom is showing us is how to survive in the world without a man. Don't you feel like empathy can only go so far? I mean, I'm one that lacks a little, uh, uh, lacks empathy. I have a, a high understanding of things, but. Do you expect empathy? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. So you don't expect your man when you come home from a hard day of work or when you're on your period or when that Karen just, you know, pissed you off. You don't expect him to empathize with how you must be feeling. Empathy is is understanding or those one and the same. Empathy includes understanding, but empathy, I think, is deeper than understanding. Empathy is literally being able to put yourself in somebody's shoes. No, I, I see never. you. Never. You that's don't expect I don't. that. No. I, uh-uh. I understand. I need you to be understanding. I need you to understand why I'm over here, got an attitude. Like, damn, I could. Shit, I understand. You're a woman. You can never imagine what we go through as a woman. So it's like, we really imbalance. I mean, you know, our whole, our whole psyche at some point in time in, in the month is really twisted and we don't even know. I, I don't think understanding is enough. Really? I don't think it's, because th- this is the difference for Because me. I think that's, I think, because I think that's the disconnect. It's a lack of understanding. It's not even really about empathy. It's a lack of empathy. Because the difference is, if you're telling me, for instance, mm-hmm. that when you were five years old, you were molested. Okay. Understanding is, oh, I understand. That probably like that probably sucked. Yeah. Empathy is damn. You want you want you ex. I expect you to carry on that burden, or that 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 feeling. No. I think I think this is the thing. That's true, why I say I true, like it. True I'm, love, true love is being able to be seen as okay, yourself for sure. And that means the good parts and the bad parts for sure. So the reason empathy is important is. Obviously, I'm not going to understand what a period feels like. Right. Never going to understand that. I, I, matter of fact, I did the um, cramp thing simulator. But still, I'm never going to understand right. what a period feels like. But at the end of the day, when I see you in pain, I must be able to at least resonate with that state of mind. And okay. understand on a deep level. Understanding the surface. It's like I get it. Empathy is, I get it. So I need to understand on a deep level where this is putting you. 
I need to understand that this ain't the time for me to be on my bullshit. The same empathy is when you adjust your behavior okay. because of understanding. Okay. Okay. So if if somebody is unable to but empathize, yes, of course. but what, I, what the the thing is, a lot of our women and our men can't empathize, and I think that's where we get lost. I so like what, we what, with one it. one of the things you know I had to come to terms with recently is a lot of niggas say, oh, I like my woman with natural hair, things like that. Mm-hmm. I cut my hair recently. Oh. Right. So I had some hair and I realized how hard to maintain that shit is. From maintain two, hair? Yeah. I'm two strand to twist, you. this and that, this and that. So like two now when I'm, when I'm empathizing, okay, it's yeah. a lot deeper. I yeah. get my arms hurt yeah. trying to do this okay, shit, yeah. hold it up for yeah. an hour. Right. And I encourage black men to get on that level. And I encourage black women to get on that level. You don't just think we under- empathize with black men? Absolutely not. Honestly. Absolutely not. Not speaking financially. We're not going to speak anything in financially. Any, in any regard. And even really? like what I told you earlier about how black men are pigeonholed into this caricature of a man, this pseudo-masculine caricature of a man. Most black women don't understand that. And they think expecting us to be a PhD Tupac makes sense. I mean, y'all don't, think, y'all don't think it's the same when y'all expect us to be uber-feminine? No. Or be, Why? Well, okay, what is uber-feminine? Explain what that means. No masculinity. You're a woman. You're a man. I shouldn't have femininity. You shouldn't be, but you, but you should have, you should protect and provide, right? Isn't that really what masculine energy is? Yeah, but what I'm saying is I shouldn't have feminine energy. Or whatever energy. Cookie, cookie cutter, you know, what you had said about this, um, this caricature, caricature that they place on masculine energy for black men. That's technically how y'all want black women to be. But y'all met, would in a feminine upset. way. In a feminine way. Right. So what I mean is I have to be balanced in my masculinity and you have to be balanced in your femininity. The issue is unbalanced femininity shows up as masculinity. Okay. So and I think that's the effect of the trauma that a lot of us suffer and the generational trauma from yeah. slavery. Right. It's a lot of unbalanced femininity 